Hi, this is June Blender at Sapien Technologies. Recently, I was asked on Twitter how to create a PowerShell GUI app with a distinct corporate branding or a special look and feel. So today, I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to convert this default, kind of boring looking PowerShell GUI app to this much snazzier one with distinctive corporate branding. In this video, we'll talk about using the properties of the WinForms control to create this nice look. In the next video, I'll show you how to save the elements of this style in files so that you can apply them to other applications that you create, kind of like Format Painter in Word. So let's get started. To give my little PowerShell GUI app a more updated look and feel, I'm going to be working in the Properties pane, and specifically working with the, with the properties in the Appearance section of the pane. Let's start with the background color of the form. Here's my color picker. I can use any of the colors in the on the System tab or on the Web tab or even this nice custom color tab, but none of these are the exact slate gray that I want, so I'm going to create and save a new custom color. I'll show you how. I right-click one of these empty squares, and then use the color gradient to define the color that I want. With a little help, I came up with 42, 43 and 47. I click Add Color and now you'll see that my custom color is saved on that custom pane as well and I can reuse it. If I happen to know the custom color RGB values I can also type them in a comma separated list. Next I'll change the font and four color properties of the form. The font, of course, controls the font family and size. The for color determines the text color. The form doesn't really have any text of its own, but by setting the font and for color properties on the form, I'm creating defaults for the WinForms controls that have text. When I place a control that has text on the form, it will sort of inherit the font and four color properties of the form. And I can override them, but these create defaults. These properties are called ambient properties of the form, and they're inherited by the controls. Let's start with the font, and I'll change that to Sugo UI. It's one of my favorites, and nine point and I'll change the four color from control text to control light. And you'll notice that these labels have picked up the change even though we didn't apply it directly to the labels, we applied it to the form. And that's the power of those ambient properties. Okay, let's have some fun. We're going to change the buttons so that they have this pretty subtle deep rose color border. I'm going to click one of the buttons, and you'll notice that they've inherited those ambient properties, the font and for color, from the background. So I'll change the back color to black. There we go. And now I want to create that nice border. So I'm going to change the flat style property of the button from standard to flat. And that lets me use these flat appearance properties. You'll notice that I've already set custom col a custom color for the border color, and I've changed the border size to 2. The mouse down back color is the color that the background of the button appears when the user clicks on it, and the mouse over back color is the color that it appears when the user hovers over it and I've set custom colors for these. Now, 
I don't want to have to restyle all of the buttons on the form separately, so I'm going to create a property set for this button. A property set is an XML file with property names and property values that you can apply. This is a bit of a peek at the second video where we'll be saving our style in files that we can share and reuse. But I really don't want to go through, have to go through and restyle each button individually. So let me show you how to do this. I'm going to click the Designer tab, right click my Styled button, and click Create Property Set. I'll click the properties that I want to include in the property set, including its back color, flat appearance, flat style, font, and for color. And I'll give it a description and click Create. Then I'll save it in a property set file with a dot properties file name extension. Now, back to my form. I can shift click to select the other buttons on my form, right click, click apply property set, and then in addition to all of the preset property sets that come with PowerShell Studio, here's my deep rose button theme. I'll select and all of the buttons are styled just like the first one. I've used the same technique to style the text boxes. No need for you to watch that again, but I want you to see how I created the logo. I started with a picture box control. And for its image property, I selected a file on disk. I found that PNG images work best. There we go. Now let's run it. Click Home and Run. And let's use it. I'll type get command. And when I click the get button, I get that pretty rose color. And I'll click copy. And again, that nice rose color. And you can see my hover colors as well. So there we have our pretty PowerShell GUI application styled with distinct corporate branding. Now, you might have noticed that we didn't do anything with the window frame or the font or text color of the window frame. The window frame is part of window styles and it's actually set and inherited by the operating system. You can override it, but we left it as is for today. One of the interesting things about it is that when you run your GUI application on a different version of Windows that has different Windows default styles, it will pick up those default styles and be consistent with the rest of the Windows GUI apps. So there you have it, a very nice looking PowerShell GUI app with distinctive branding. Stay tuned for the next video about how to save your style in files so you can share and reuse it. Thanks for listening.